What's up loves? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany T, the Lux Realtor. If you're new here, welcome to the final day of Vlogmas. I hope you guys truly enjoy my 12 days of Vlogmas as I promise I enjoyed filming it. So today I am pretty much going to talk about kind of what I learned from doing my first Vlogmas, some tips if you ever want to do Vlogmas, um, and kind of what my plans is what my plans are going to be for next year. Y'all know I got notes here because I'm not trying to be perfect and I don't want to forget so that I can make sure I give y'all all the tips all right so let's get right into it okay so thing number one that I learned was do the intro video first because none of my vlogmas videos had an intro because by the time it was time for me to get them out I just hadn't got around to doing it I have been so busy with the transition in my business you know traveling for Thanksgiving and you know after Thanksgiving is over Christmas is here so I would definitely say get that intro video done first so that way it can be ready and on repeat for every other video and what you guys can do I don't know if y'all plan um, as early as I plan but I am actually going to kind of have a slight 2023 plan and so that's going to be in my planner for 2023 already preparing for vlogmas going into next year so absolute positive tip number one is do the intro video first now if you don't want an intro then that's totally fine but for those of you who are like me you think it's like really really neat really cool really cute to be able to offer just kind of an intro into your vlogmas it's a special time of year and it's special videos for your subscribers so that's definitely tip number one okay thing number two not necessarily tips well they're tips from things that i learned unless again you are absolutely organized with your plan and i consider myself an organized person and i kind of had an idea of what i was gonna do but i made it up along the way be careful <laughs> saying day one day two day three especially if they're like incomplete because i had some videos where the start of it was this day but then I didn't do the end of it until days later. So just be very, very careful saying, oh, welcome to Vlogmas Day 1, Vlogmas Day 2, Vlogmas Day 3, um, just so that you're not like all over the place and your cl uh, clips are scattered and then your mind is like, wait, what? That's not day three. I'm not posting that one for day three. So be careful of that now. If you're one of those people who is actually posting every day and it's like when you get up, you're literally like day three and it's everything that I do in this day, I'm gonna edit that and then post it, then that's different. But for me, I was doing the 12 days of Vlogmas for a designated time in December and I started recording early. So that's more so the people that I'm talking to because obviously if you're doing it on day three and you're gonna edit and post on day three, then you're fine. But the way that I did it, I had to be careful. And the thing that can kind of make up for you not saying day one, day two, day three, is simply insert the words. So that's re really what I did on every single one of my videos. I actually put the words in there, Vlogmas day one, Vlogmas day two, Vlogmas day three, because I just stopped saying the days because sometimes I recorded something, but I didn't end that video until days later. And I uploaded another video before that one was even complete. So that's definitely tip number two and thing that I think that I learned, uh, things that I've learned from doing my first vlog. Thing number three, you guys, um, I would say, I wouldn't necessarily say that I learned because I think I try my best throughout my channel to do this. I think like all of us, it does get a little, um, the pressure does come on when you see certain people, you know, flourishing in certain areas and you see certain things that get a lot of likes and views. That temptation does come, but be yourself and have fun. Be yourself and have fun. Again, Vlogmas to me is a time to just enjoy your holidays and share a little bit more behind the scenes, right? If you're usually doing hair tutorials and makeup, you're usually doing day in the life of, 
you're a business owner, a fashion entrepreneur, a realtor such as myself, right? Vlogmas is not necessarily that. This is the time and the season to kind of break away from the norm and give your audience something that they're not used to seeing. So be authentic, be yourself. I know for me, there was a lot of times where I was just on camera and I didn't look like this, okay? And it was okay because I said that in one of my videos, I don't have to be dialed up. I think that I'm be beautiful, very secure, love myself. Um, but I also, you know, I saw someone doing a gift guide and a lot of people do gift guides. I love watching gift guides. And I had to tell myself like, Tiff, that's not, that wasn't on your radar and it's not something that you want to do don't go do it because they got a lot of views you get what i'm saying and i'm not saying that you won't see something and it won't you know capture your attention and say oh i actually want to do that right because it's an authentic response what i'm saying is don't do it just because you see the popular person do it or you see the person who has all the subscribers like be authentic and be yourself because you're going to have more fun you're going to be more creative you're going to get more done and then you're going to be prone and apt to doing it again. So that is one thing that I will say that I believe that every Vlogmas video that I put out, I was very true to Tiffany. Um, I showed you guys the real, I showed you guys things that I love, things that I did. You saw my family, you got to meet my boyfriend. So um, it was very, very authentic. And so that's the thing that I wanna tell you. And that's really Vlogmas and beyond, <laughs> but that's something that I wanted to bring up because again, in watching other Vlogmas videos, you see different ideas and things that'll come up. And I just don't want you to get tempted beyond where you are and also beyond who you Ooh. are. Child. Thing number four, and probably the most important for me at least, batch edit, edits and schedule your posts. So again, if you're doing like every day recording, editing, posting, then you're not the person I'm talking to because you're an MVP and you're beyond my level, okay? But because I did 12 days of Vlogmas, I again had recorded videos and I think I had maybe like four or five of them done and I was trying to like record or edit the night before or edit the day of and things happen. Like even today, I still have to upload a, a Vlogmas video and I don't believe it's fully edited, right? So when I had those four videos, I should have sat down one day and edited them all and went ahead and scheduled them. And that way they just went out on, you know, YouTube as it came so that also I wasn't missing days. I did very, very good with uploading, I think my first four and then day five, I think it skipped a day because I was busy. And that's the thing you got to keep in mind, right? Going into it, it's exciting. It's like, it's Vlogmas, I can't wait to share, but it's a busy time. Like I said, right after Thanksgiving, we jump right into the Christmas season, really during Thanksgiving because Black Friday, <laughs> you're preparing for Christmas. So um, I would definitely say if you pre-record multiple videos, batch your edits and definitely schedule your posts so that you do not miss a day and so that you're not scrambling trying to get those videos edited all right so i definitely learned a lot so that's it you guys those are my top four things that i learned from vlogmas just tips that i want to give you all tips that i'm definitely going to take going into a new year so what i plan to do next year i'm going to do vlogmas again again i absolutely love this time of year i think it's giving my audience something different letting you guys see me in a new light um just see me outside of the work environment even though some of my vlogmas days i still work i did my walkthrough and things like that but just seeing my um you know my home being able to see my decor style again just kind of watching me in a more personal element i love that love being able to share it hope and encouraged and inspired someone um, I loved the 12 days of vlogmas again I think it worked perfect for me it wasn't um, overwhelming but then it also challenged me I know again on the editing side the scheduling side is going to challenge me in my discipline and my time management and my organization so I definitely still want to do it now I like weekly vlogs overall when I've done weekly vlogs I love them and you guys my subscribers seem to respond to my weekly vlogs very, very well. And again, I've, I saw some other YouTubers do weekly vlog for their Vlogmas, but that didn't necessarily like grab me to say, oh, let me do that instead of the 12 days of Vlogmas. So I think for now, for me, I'm gonna stick to the 12 days of Vlogmas. Uh, 2024, I expect it to just go up 
And I know for certain, probably the beginning of November, because I'm already going to have a ton of decor, <laughs> Christmas decor. I'm going to record my Vlogmas intro so that y'all get that intro next year. Um, and something that I do, just a quick little bonus, and then this video is over, I actually go shopping the day after Christmas because you guys know the stores have all the Christmas decor like 50 to 75% off. So I'm going to grab up decor in preparation for next year as well. So again, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for just being a part of this vlog. Miss my first time doing it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what was your favorite part. Um, and again, just on my regular day to day channel, let me know what you guys want to see, what you're enjoying. What's a little bit boring? Just tell your girl the truth. Other than that, I wish you guys the happiest of holidays. I absolutely love you. I'm praying for you and I wish you all the best.